You don't realize that college campuses erupted with the kids demonstrating for Hamas? They are in with the terrorists. They were for the Palestinians. Well, it's sort of the same cause. Why, are you? Um, I'm on the side of the kids. Did Bill Maher just say, like he just like proudly conflated Hamas with Palestinian civilians? It's the same cause. If you're protesting because you're enraged over the slaughter of literal children in Gaza, well, that must mean that you support Hamas. That's what he said. But as you heard Bill Burr in that same clip, Bill Burr is siding with the student protesters. And I give him a lot of credit for saying that because unfortunately, public polling indicates that most Americans are not on the side of the protesters on college campuses. And there's a lot on the line for those who are willing to speak the truth, who are willing to speak out against the killing of innocent civilians in the Gaza Strip. And so Bill Burr, lots of respect for saying what he just said in that clip, but he has more to say. Let's watch. Yeah, that's easy to say. You know, no one wants to see kids dead. Uh, this is a war. That was very brave of you to say that. This is a this is a <laughs> war. No, I'm the one who's actually brave on this. Uh, it's oh, e- it's pat e- yourself on the back. It's easy to say I'm for the kids. Who's not for the kids? Well, it I don't comes understand. down to real hard nosed decisions. Like no, a country stop talking like you're a general. A country got attacked. Israel got attacked. I'm not saying that they didn't have a right to go back. I'm just sitting there going okay. like, how do I look at the- We're the only country in the world that uh, they get attacked. And then as soon as they counterattack, it's like, well, we got to stop this shit now. Don't attack them. There's a very simple solution to all this problem in the Middle East. Stop attacking Israel. Hey, you stop just solved attacking it. Israel. You just I did. solved it. I actually there did. You go. That's fantastic. Anyway. I just want to quickly talk about how Bill Maher, an incredibly influential, wealthy man, who has sided with the power players in this country on this war, thinks that he's the brave one for siding with the power players in regard to this war. Okay, I'm talking about our governmental institutions, both political parties, deeply, deeply supportive of Israel, deeply in favor of anything Israel wants to do. Okay, you have the Israel lobby, corrupting politicians on both sides of the political aisle to the point where Israel is the top recipient of US foreign aid by a, by a lot, okay? Pausing here to deliver some honest truth as we do in our news coverage as well. TYT is facing challenges, guys, as the entire industry is. You know who could make the difference? You. If you hit the join button below, it's gonna make all the difference and keep us in business. We appreciate you, thank you. I mean, you have the United States government, Joe Biden, circumventing Congress over 100 times in order to get military weaponry to Israel during this war. And obviously, when you look at what's happening in Gaza, we're talking about a population of millions of people who have nowhere to go. It is a tiny strip of land, okay, about five miles wide. And they're being bombed. They're being displaced, their homes have been destroyed. But hold on, it's brave to support the side that gets all the US military weaponry, that has the Iron Dome as a defense capability to protect their civilians from you know missiles or rockets. It's brave of you to conflate Innocent civilians who are getting killed on one side, the Palestinian side, who again, have nowhere to go for safety. You defend what's happening to them and that's the brave thing to do. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about the students. Apparently it's brave to trash the students, right? That's the brave take. Except what have we been hearing in regard to consequences for the students over and over again? These are students who have been protesting the slaughter of innocent civilians in Gaza and they no longer want their tuition money to be invested in the weapons manufacturers that are providing the weapons to Israel to cause all that carnage. That is what the protests are about, plain and simple. They have a problem with their money going to the Israel cause considering what's happening to innocent civilians in Gaza. That is what's happening, okay. And what have they been met with? 
suspensions, in some cases expulsions, in some cases expulsions that are deserving, okay? Especially when you see a video of one of the Columbia students saying that Zionists don't deserve to live. Yeah, that guy deserved to get expelled, no problem with that. But obviously there was a very intentional effort to use those examples as the prime example of what all the protesters were like. When obviously that couldn't be further from the truth. And so what kind of threats did the students get other than disciplinary action from the administrators at their universities? Oh, They got all sorts of threats from employers. So you tell me who the brave person is, the powerful guy who's siding with the powerful people or the students who know that their future careers could be completely destroyed over having the courage to speak out on their campuses about this ongoing war. And I wanna give you some examples like Kevin O'Leary. Let's listen to what he had to say about these student protesters. I'll see your resume, you may be a great candidate, then I'll find that you were doing this or fighting the police or whatever it was. I'll put that resume on the left into the garbage because I know I can find someone else just as good as you of which there are tens of thousands of candidates that didn't participate in this. You are trashing your future. Tom McLellan, uh, who operates a financial news, a financial newsletter with his brother says, attention job seekers, I will not hire any recent graduate of Columbia because that school is so tainted that I will not be able to trust in the character nor the educational attainment of any of its students. Tom McLellan, apparently, a in favor of collective punishment, not only in Gaza, but also on college campuses around the country. Then there's the Canadian consultant Warren Kinsella who said, at the firm I founded 18 years ago and in the war rooms I've run for the past 31 years, I've employed hundreds of young people. I'll never hire one from Columbia. And of course, they're picking on Columbia because that's where the campus protests started. In addition to these three, a group of 13 right-leaning federal judges told Columbia University on May 6th that they will not hire any graduates of their school. Federal judges who won't hire Columbia graduates include Elizabeth L. Branch, James C. Ho, Matthew Solomson, Alan Albright, David Counts, and James Hendricks. There's more. Let's take a look at the second list. You've got Matthew Kasmerick, you have Jeremy Kernodal, Tillman Shelf. You guys get the picture. There's a bunch of right leaning judges who are outraged and they say that they will not hire anyone from Columbia as a result of the pro peace protests that took place on that campus. And among the 13 judges, at least seven serve in Texas. They wrote in a letter to Columbia, to the Columbia president. As judges who hire law clerks every year to serve in the federal judiciary, we have lost confidence in Columbia as an institution of higher education. Columbia has instead become an incubator of bigotry. As a result, Columbia has disqualified itself from educating the future leaders of our country. But it's not bigotry to continue supporting the slaughter of Palestinian women and children in Gaza. Okay, got it, totally understand. But. I do want to end on a high note because Bill Burr apparently can see things a little more clearly and understands that no, Bill Maher isn't the brave one, especially considering all the powerful people in this country and the most powerful lobbying group in this country sides with him. So what did he have to say to Bill Maher at the end of this little exchange? Let's take a look. This is why this is not your thing. Make, make, this is make my, some this hard noise. This is <laughs> just it's my not thing. your thing. It's what you. you my, it is my. It thing. isn't your yeah, thing. This is not it your isn't. thing. It isn't. You're like that Plain guy that has a fantasy football no, team and thinks no, he's a no, GM. No. No. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Like, why am I listening to you? Like, like you've done something. What have you done in Washington? Nothing. I don't think I could really add more to that. That was perfectly said. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.